uh, um, um, who? Interview Joe Budden. How y'all feel that Joe Budden's bisexual, man? I'm finally everybody. I'm finally so glad everybody knows. Nigga told me that every they struggle when, when we were in a green room one day. We taking sips of fucking Henny before we go do the fucking show. Said some shit like that, nigga. I laughed it off, nigga, and took a shot. It was like, it was like, nigga, what? Nigga, I was like, I'm like, nigga, I don't know who's stressing you out at the crib. But come on. Let's take a shot, nigga. I thought it was a fucking joke. I don't know, man. I was listening to some shit, and Joe seemed like he was very, like, he really, like, 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 he was into, he was talking about fucking a girl, but it was some girl he used to fuck, but, like, he was very much interested in times that he fucked that same girl with the other dude, and I'm like, wait. You got more turned on by the train than when you fucked her. All right, brother, you got it, dog. But I don't know, man. Listen, man, I just want to tell you I support Joseph Button. That's my guy. Okay? Wait. Bro, he came out and said it. Like, what do you, what do you, like, I'm not exposing nothing. Like, <laughs> bro, like, am I exposing some shit now? Nigga, he couldn't tell nobody because he was like a fucking rapper. You have to be tough. Nigga, Freddie Gibbs might be... I don't even think he might say... He might be gay. He asked me what that mouth do. Like, come on, bro. Oh, like, come on, man. Like, some, like you gotta remember that time in rap. Like, a Lil Nas X wasn't even a possibility. Nigga, Joe had to act like he had a gun all the time. You know what I mean? Like, that's when rap used to be, like, super tough. He meant like some Jersey dude got into it. Imagine telling that dude like you like. <laughs> Imagine telling that dude like, I don't know. They they, they threatening each other back and forth, and uh, Joe be like, "Yo, yeah, I'll fuck you." Not up. I'll just fuck you. I don't know. Nah, he never tried it with me. I don't even think he like fat dudes. I just, thank God I'm fat. I think he like them little petite niggas. Skinny niggas, though. You know what I mean? He like a red bow nigga. Pause. A light bright. I don't know, doggy. But, he, but, but, but listen, he never tried me. You know what I mean? I respect him. All right. Uh, what else y'all talking about? I'm fucking trolling, chat. <laughs> like, come on, man. God damn it. Yo, why did... Yo, 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 let me say this. <laughs> yo, it told you the state of the internet, right? Yo, me and Joe, we both did a fucking interview with Brittany Renner. Like, I, well, he put his shit on Patreon. Not a, not a motherfucker I heard talk about, like, the, 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 the it was good content, too, that, that, that he did with um Brittany Renner. But as soon as he, he says... And by the way, there's a whole context to it, like... I know some of y'all watch this podcast or something like that. Like, he, there was context to it. He was literally, they were fucking shocked. And really, like, you know, I don't want to throw him in no hot water or nothing like that. Like, but if, if you were a smart listener, you could read between the lines. The whole conversation was pretty condescending in terms of, like, the LGBTQ community. In, in the sense of, they were shocked and appalled and kind of, I won't even go to say disgusted, but they were like, wait. You mean to tell me the baby had to check in and get the clearance from the gays, homosexuals, bisexual, the, the LGBTQ community before he could perform at Rolling Loud? Because that was what came out of the news. Said he, he said they, it's like the person who runs like that org was like, we approve the baby to perform at the new Rolling Loud. And they were discussing, they were like, what the fuck? Like, wait. That nigga need approval now? Like, yo, what's going on? And I think because of that, in trying to make a joke, right, 
Joe is like, you know what? All right, damn. If they're running shit so much where they're giving the baby a fucking pass or they have to sign his permission slip to show up to a fucking, like, his job, like, God damn it, you know, like, Joe said, "Yo, all right, well, fuck it. I'm bisexual then. If that's if if that if 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 the only people who can't get no flack are the people in that group, shit. I, he didn't want to just go a little Nas X with it and just say he gay. He just said I'm bi then. You know what I mean? Listen, you got to realize for some people, and I'm bring a broader discussion. I'm not trying to put words or insinuate what Joe and them were trying to talk about, but I will tell you what I'm talking about. Some people feel like yo, if you're a straight man, you are under attack. You feel me?" Some people think that Dave Chappelle, just for doing comedy, where he usually clowns everybody, he's under attack. You get me? People think that, hey, if you say these things about, you know, the 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 LGBT community, you're going to be under attack. So when some people hear that, wait, you mean to tell me that this guy said one thing wrong. He had to meet with y'all and do all these, like, pretty much it seems like rituals now just for y'all to forgive him for his... You know, I think everybody else outside that group, we just saw it as an ignorant comment trying to hype up a crowd. But a lot of people in that group thought it was super hateful and was pretty much setting back people who were maybe infected with, you know, uh, um, HIV or AIDS or people who were homosexual that, you know, there's been a stigma about that particular thing with them. So, you know, the baby had to fucking appease, appease that group to go perform and again keep in mind Lil Nas X could make all the jokes he wants like you know what I'm tired of like I think he said this he's like yo I'm tired of being gay I'm about to go get some pussy like he's said it he's like you know I'm done with this gay shit you know what I mean and it's that's just funny because he's in that group there's no backlash for what Lil Nas X does you get what I mean so like like you know he could kind of uh, I'm, again, I'm not defending the baby, but he could kind of, you know, say things that are tongue in cheek about certain shit or sexuality. And because he's in that group, he's more protected than somebody like the baby who fuck, fuck you trying to hype up a crowd or fuck your slight bit of ignorance. You're you're you just need to pretty much bow down. Right. So I think that's why Joe was saying it uh, um, again. I don't know. I would I would assume Joe is not bisexual. There's no reason for me to th think that he's bisexual. Uh, from the time I knew him, he was in love with like you know a lot of Hispanic women. Um, I've never heard him say, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. I really like like I don't know. Give me some Spanish chicks name. I really like Maria." I really like, you know, whatever. and But I love Jose, too, like, in that type of, like, attraction way. So, I don't know. But 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 I guess what I was trying to say is that it's interesting how Joe went viral today for some shit he said trolling. That nigga did some really good content recently. And nobody was, like, nobody better than I. But, of course, it's a trolling shit that goes viral. It kind of brings me to the fucking loser that is... Frederick Gibbs, the son of a police officer, Frederick Tipton. You know, 